In a renewed effort to bring the Kinahan cartel to justice, the Gardaí have embarked on a fresh attempt to extradite key figures, including Daniel Kinahan and his associates, from the United Arab Emirates, UAE. This initiative is part of a broader strategy to dismantle the notorious narco-terrorist gang led by Daniel Kinahan. The ongoing collaboration with UAE authorities includes formal negotiations for an official prisoner transfer pact, enhancing the prospects of securing the extradition of individuals implicated in various criminal activities. The backdrop to this latest move involves intensified global efforts by law enforcement agencies, particularly the Garda National Drugs and Organized Crime Bureau, GNDOCB, to curb the influence and operations of the Kinahan cartel. Previous endeavors to address the criminal organization's activities have involved extradition proceedings, with a focus on presenting a comprehensive case against key figures associated with the cartel. The Gardai's persistent commitment to dismantling the Kinahan cartel underscores the complex challenges posed by transnational organized crime, necessitating collaborative efforts with international partners and strategic negotiations for legal cooperation. The extradition bid and concurrent negotiations for a prisoner transfer pact reflect the multifaceted approach taken by the Gardai to hold accountable those involved in serious criminal enterprises with international ramifications. Gardai anticipate finalizing an extradition agreement with the United Arab Emirates in the coming weeks to bring members of the Kinahan family from Dubai to face trial. There is growing confidence among law enforcement officials that the Director of Public Prosecutions, DPP, will recommend charges against Christy Kinahan Sr. and his sons, Daniel and Christopher Jr., for offenses committed in the Republic of Ireland. DPP lawyers, including a senior counsel, are meticulously reviewing the extensive Garda file on the drug cartel's leadership to ensure the charges are robust. The aim is not only to secure charges but also to convey to the UAE the gravity of the alleged offenses and the imperative for justice. A senior Garda source emphasized the thoroughness of the DPP's examination, stating, The DPP has had the Kinahan file for many months now. A decision will be made shortly. The process involves issuing charges, followed by a formal extradition request to Dubai, contingent upon an established agreement with UAE authorities, currently under finalization. The authorities aim to address any extradition concerns promptly, given the UAE's awareness of the alleged crimes. The meticulous approach underscores the commitment to ensuring the accuracy and validity of the legal proceedings. It is anticipated that any forthcoming charges will be related to the Kinahan's involvement in drug trafficking in Ireland and their connection to the Kinahan-Hutch feud, which resulted in 18 fatalities. Gardai assert that all individuals involved remain in Dubai, unable to elude authorities. A collaborative effort involving various international law enforcement agencies, including the United States, is closely monitoring their movements. The Americans have offered a $5 million reward for information leading to the arrest of each individual. The limited options for their relocation have significantly restricted their movements, with the possibility of apprehension if they attempt to leave Dubai. The case of their associate Liam Byrne exemplifies this, as he was arrested in Majorca last June and subsequently extradited to the UK on firearms charges. Garda sources emphasize their strategic approach, stating, We are slowly but surely moving in on them, and they know it. The days of the Kinahans evading the law appear numbered, with multiple countries expressing interest in prosecuting them. There are indications that Christy Kinahan Sr. has been attempting negotiations with both Russia and Iran to facilitate their departure from Dubai. Top-tier Garda investigators are gearing up for a critical mission to the United Arab Emirates, UAE, in the coming weeks, intensifying efforts to dismantle the notorious narco-terrorist organization led by Daniel Kinahan. This strategic move aligns with the comprehensive global collaboration against organized crime, as crime fighters from Dubai are reciprocating by planning a visit to Ireland in early 2024. These developments unfold amidst ongoing negotiations between the Irish Department of Justice and UAE officials for the establishment of an official prisoner transfer pact. These collaborative efforts gained momentum following the recent proceedings at the Special Criminal Court, where Declan Brady, Mr. Nobody, 
a significant figure within the Kinahan cartel, pleaded guilty. Brady's admission implicated him in supporting the gang responsible for the targeted killing of Noel Duck Egg Kerwin on December 22, 2016. Currently, Daniel Kinahan, his brother Christopher, and their close associate Sean McGovern remain elusive in the Middle East. McGovern is sought in connection with Kerwin's murder, and a comprehensive file detailing the allegations against Daniel Kinahan has been forwarded to the Director of Public Prosecutions. The intricate coordination between Irish and Dubai law enforcement underscores the global commitment to apprehend and bring these individuals to justice. As authorities continue to tighten the net around the Kinahan cartel, the collaborative efforts signify a united front against transnational criminal networks. Detective Chief Superintendent Seamus Boland, leading the Garda National Drugs and Organized Crime Bureau, has officially confirmed the forthcoming visit of the Garda investigation team to the UAE. This exchange of investigative efforts underscores the ongoing commitment to fostering a positive and collaborative relationship between Irish law enforcement and their counterparts in the UAE. Deet. Chief Supt. Boland emphasized the continuous improvement in collaboration and expressed optimism about reciprocal visits, anticipating the arrival of UAE colleagues in Ireland in the near future. Reflecting on the operational outcomes, Boland noted a significant reduction in the capabilities of the Kinahan organization, attributing it to sustained law enforcement efforts. While acknowledging that the group's impact on Ireland has significantly diminished, he stressed that the threat posed by the Kinahan cartel persists. Boland highlighted the transformation of the Kinahan group from its 2016-2017 iteration, emphasizing that while it no longer exists in its previous form, its deep-rooted connections to international networks sustain its influence. An extensive investigation file, meticulously compiled over several years, is currently under scrutiny by legal authorities. The assessment aims to determine the sufficiency of evidence for potential prosecution, underscoring the intricate and persistent efforts to dismantle the remnants of the Kinahan cartel. Detective Chief Superintendent Seamus Boland, overseeing a team that collaborates closely with Garda Divisions, Revenue and the Criminal Assets Bureau, highlighted the enhanced capabilities resulting from strengthened global law enforcement relationships. Emphasizing a broadened perspective beyond Ireland's borders, Boland outlined the pursuit of decision-makers residing outside the jurisdiction. He underscored the significant achievements in apprehending individuals previously deemed untouchable within organized crime circles, citing the unparalleled capabilities of Angarda Siochana and their extensive experience collaborating with international law enforcement partners. Boland affirmed the commitment to addressing serious organized crime on a global scale, irrespective of the locations of those involved. This comprehensive approach extends to pursuing individuals engaged in criminal activities in Europe, the Middle East, or Australia. The Garda National Drugs and Organized Crime Bureau, GNDOCB, is currently immersed in 15 national priority investigations, with a primary focus on drug trafficking gangs and entities involved in money laundering. Boland's remarks underscore the proactive and expansive efforts undertaken by Angarda Siochana to combat transnational organized crime networks. Within this intensified global strategy, the Garda National Drugs and Organized Crime Bureau, GNDOCB, aims to dismantle criminal networks involved in drug trafficking and money laundering. Detective Chief Superintendent Seamus Boland highlighted the adaptability of Angarda Siochana in tackling serious organized crime, regardless of the geographical locations of these illicit activities. With an unwavering commitment to pursuing those responsible for crimes on an international scale, the GNDOCB exemplifies the force's dedication to dismantling criminal enterprises and disrupting their operations. Boland acknowledged the evolving nature of criminal enterprises emphasizing the need for law enforcement to stay ahead in terms of capabilities and collaborative efforts. By fostering positive relationships with law enforcement agencies globally, Angarda Siochana has positioned itself as a formidable force against organized crime. The comprehensive approach involves not only addressing immediate threats within Ireland, but also targeting decision-makers and influential figures residing beyond national borders.
As the Garda continues to work in collaboration with international partners, the collective efforts underscore a determination to bring those involved in serious organized crime to justice, regardless of their locations. The ongoing investigations and strategic priorities set by the GNDOCB reflect a commitment to proactively combating transnational criminal networks and safeguarding communities from the far-reaching impact of organized crime.